watching 7 Action News, always taking action for you. We're going to begin tonight with breaking news. A deadly crash on I-94, a semi-truck engulfed in flames. Chopper 7 over the scene of the aftermath. The freeway shut down. Traffic tonight back up for miles. Let's get right to the scene in 7 Action News reporter Ronnie Dahl. And Ronnie, what have you learned so far? Well, we do know that this semi-truck driver was actually hauling apples when he or she was going along eastbound uh, I-94. We're about two and a half hours into this crash investigation. Michigan State Police have a lot to go through. We understand they are just about to remove the semi. Once they do that, they will understand a little bit more about how this crash possibly happened and who is involved. Traffic cameras capture the fiery crash. It was around 8.20 Friday night when the semi-truck driver was going eastbound on I-94 near Telegraph when he or she lost control, hit the guardrail. The truck then struck a utility pole and burst into flames. Uh, all of the, everything in the back was scattered everywhere. It was already open. Uh, the whole thing was engulfed in flames. You could hear the tires popping. We saw people running because they thought it was going to explode. And we saw that it hit was a, hit against a pole, and the pole is on a slant. And then we finally waited, and it started falling over. Tonight, we are learning the semi truck driver has died. The badly burned wreckage is hindering the identification process and the accident investigation. I feel sorry for the, the person's family that uh, probably lost lost a loved one right now. That's the, that's the sad part about this. Okay, so let me go ahead and get to the traffic portion of this. Right now, westbound I-94 is reopened to traffic. Eastbound, however, is still closed down right here near Telegraph. The traffic is being diverted onto Telegraph. If you are in this area, Telegraph is a nightmare as well, and that's because there are a lot of classic cars out cruising the area that is adding to the traffic delays. Now, let's get back to that deadly crash. What we know right now, there was one person inside the semi-truck. They do know that that person has died. As they go further into the evening, they're able to clear away this debris. They will try to figure out if there could possibly be more victims involved in this accident. Maybe even the slight possibility that there is another vehicle involved. That's something they will be looking at. But once again, as they remove the semi from the scene, that will give them a better look into what happened out here this evening. And of course, this area eastbound uh, 94 is expected to be closed down to traffic for the next several hours. That's the latest from Taylor this evening. Ronnie Dahl, 7 Action News. Certainly understand that, Ronnie. We were watching that video from the newsroom, and that mm -hmm. fire was massive, so you never know how many people were hurt in that. Thank you so much yeah. for the live report. Uh, we are getting a lot of pictures from our viewers. This video is shot by Justin Saunders from Windsor. As he was driving by, we will continue to gather more information throughout the night and bring you the very latest on 7 Action News weekend morning starting at 6 and 8 a.m.